And now to our lab for some amazing body experiments. Ugh! Just don't try anything you see here at home. Chris, give me your hand. Why? I'm about to use a special piece of medical equipment on you, and I can only do this because I'm a doctor. Why do I feel nervous? Ouch! You've drawn blood! Is this really necessary? Now, don't try anything like this at home. And I'm only tolerating it because Zand is a trained medical professional and he's using some piece of proper scientific equipment. Now, the reason I pierced Chris's skin was to show you how blood is absolutely everywhere inside your body. It's true that while it did hurt, the hole actually couldn't be any smaller. Blood still came out. Our bodies are filled with five litres of blood and it flows through an incredible network of tiny vessels. As you'll know, if you've ever cut yourself on paper, even the tiniest cut draws blood. That's because blood vessels are everywhere in your body. You have about 60,000 miles of them, enough to go around the planet nearly two and a half times. Now, Zahn, wait here. Give me your hand. Now, I want you to take the end of this piece of string, start walking, and keep walking. Now, the string that Zand is holding represents the blood vessels in just one part of your body. So, do you think that all this string represents the amount of blood vessels in A, your arm, B, your hand, or C, just your fingertip? The answer is C. Amazingly, all this string is the same length as the blood vessels in just one fingertip. Your fingertip is only about one centimetre long, but the blood vessels inside it measure a thousand metres. So, that's how long this string is, and I suppose, by now, how far away Zand is. Chris? Chris? I suppose better get him back. So, there are thousands of blood vessels in your body carrying blood to and from the heart to keep everything working. And you have two types, arteries and veins. So, take a look at this. It's a device that doctors use for spotting veins, and it has a special infrared light. Chris, meet my veins. Look at that. Cool, that really is good. I mean, you can see Zahn's veins in all their glory. And the job of those veins is to carry your blood back to your heart. Now, your other blood vessels are your arteries, and they take blood from your heart to your muscles and organs. This is a piece of skin from a pig. It might look disgusting, but we're showing it to you because it has arteries in it, just like yours. They're thick, and they're tough and elastic, and they're very strong. Now, next to them are the veins, but they're much harder to see, they're much smaller, and they're much floppier. Now, the reason the arteries are so strong is because blood is pushed out from the heart and very high pressure, but the whole system relies on blood vessels being nice and clear. Like roads, they work better when they're not blocked with traffic. And to show you what happens when arteries are blocked, I've enlisted the help of some of my friends. Chris, meet John and Anita. They're wooden cutouts. They look a lot like John and Anita. Anyway, they both have tubes running all over their bodies, and those represent arteries. Now, the arteries on Anita are lovely and clear. With John, though, there are little blockages all over the place. It doesn't look like a big deal, but we're going to try and show you how much difference this makes in an artery race. In 30 seconds, we're going to see how much of our fake blood, in my case blue, in some case green, we can pump through the blood vessels to John and Anita's organs. Basically, we're going to be their hearts. Start the clock. No, oh, mine's really difficult. John's arteries are so blocked that no blood is getting to his muscles or his organs. I'm having to put in loads of pressure, and this is like John having high blood pressure, isn't it? On the other hand, Anita is extremely easy. Chris, Anita's doing fine, but John's in real trouble. John's hemorrhaging, and I'm hardly getting anything through to the bucket. You've got to keep pumping or he's going to die. John is not doing well. Time's up. Terrible. And no blood is getting to his organs. Well, Zond, I did all I could, but it just goes to show how serious a blockage in an artery can be. It's lucky John is only a cutout. If you want to have nice, clear arteries like Anita, you've got to exercise, eat properly, and lead a healthy lifestyle. Now, Chris, I've got a ball of string that represents all the blood vessels in your entire body. It's 60,000 miles long. Tie the end to your finger. Zond. 
Not falling for that trick. But that is an enormous ball of string. Well, look at that, Chris. A lovely green kidney. All it needs now is a little more green paint. Sand, you've got a huge splat of green paint on my blue heart. Well, I think it looks much better now. Everything's improved with a little more green. That's not true. But I have got a good trick that will make you confuse your green and your blue. Ooh. It's Dr Chris's world-famous how to confuse your colours trick. What we're going to do is divide you into two groups, one group with me and one group with Zand, and we're going to show you this list of words. It's called the Stroop Test, and what you'll notice is that while some of these words are written in the correct colour, purple, green and blue, some of them aren't. So that one is the word green in the colour blue. I want you to go through the list of words and you call out the colour of the word as fast as you can. OK, so for this one, you'd say purple, green, blue, pink. Yellow, green. Whoa, 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 who said yeah, whoa, 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 I heard a few people say red. Remember, this lot need to name the colour, not the word. And they mustn't pause or hesitate. Try it yourself. The words on the screen are the same as on our chart. Are you ready? Quick as you can, go. Red, green, green. No, that's not red, that's green. Purple, green, blue, pink, red, green, blue, green, green, red, blue, purple. No! Oh, he was so funny. Ah, You had three words till the end! Who found this test difficult? So did I manage to confuse all of your brains and get you to say the wrong colour? Yeah. Yeah. yeah! So who knows how the test works? Ruben. Your brain processes the words quicker than it knows the colours. Pretty good, actually. That is a pretty good explanation. So because we're asking you to describe the colour, the information about the word that's written down is processed faster by your brain, and so that gets to the bit of your brain that's going to make your mouth do the speaking faster than the colour information, and it interferes with it. So if you don't slow down, you'll say the wrong colour. So who thinks that was a cool body trick? Yeah!